Hey, what's up you guys? It's Shauna and welcome back to my channel. I am back. Um, it has been a while, like a really long time since I posted a video and a lot has happened since my last video. I got my nose job. Yep, I am about like four or five months um, since surgery and I am as happy as ever, as confident as ever. I am so happy with my decision of getting a nose job. I have like a whole video of like before, after, like the whole process and everything. Um, I just, I don't know, I never got time to like make the video just because I got my nose done. Um, then I went to school and then school was really stressful and all these excuses but I am back and I really want to keep like posting my videos on a regular basis just because I really want my channel to grow and I don't know I just like want to get back into the habit of posting videos regularly this is like a very weird background I am sitting in front of my closet I am home for winter break and so like this won't be like a regular background or it might be for the time being. Yep, I am back and hopefully I can start like posting videos on a regular. Um, for this video, it is like gift ideas last minute. These are things that you can go into the store and buy, like you don't have to order anything online. But these are just like general ideas if you have no idea what to get for someone and you are last minute, like you gotta get something. And most of the stuff I have in front of me, but some of the stuff I don't have, they're in my dorm room and I just like didn't bring them with me or I don't have it and I wish I had it. When you're shopping for someone, you really should know like the person, like what are the like, like what do they like? Um, what are some of their hobbies and stuff like that and then you can really shop for them this is just stuff that i like that i think would be a good idea for some people and also last minute type of things like you can get this stuff at a drugstore your local ulta sephora store and like some of these things are like categories so you can get like a general idea because some because someone might not because something i mentioned might not actually be a good gift idea for someone but you got like a general idea from it so you can think of something else it's kind of like one of those videos but yeah without further ado let's get on to the video so first off i want to start off with like home type of things and the first thing i want to mention are candles you can't go wrong with any candles and i have these two in front of me from bath and body works i have peach bellini and champagne toast these are one of my favorite scents so not like my favorite favorite scents for the winter time i love the oh shoot the hot chocolate one from bath and body from bath and body works and it smells so good but these are the ones i have here and i mean peach bellini smells really good this really smells like peaches oh my god i actually love this but these are so cute and I love the fact that they're like in a jar like this because I feel like once these candles are done, then you can just like reuse the jar for something else. Next up, I have some mugs. I don't have the mugs in front of me. They're in my dorm room. But um, mugs, you can't go wrong with any mugs. Like there's mugs for anything for any person. There's mugs with like dogs on them, cats, sloths some nice quotes some funny sayings some like comedy references like a whole bunch of stuff i feel like you can never go wrong with a mug the next item i have are robes robes are so cozy and comfortable they just keep you warm and you feel like so i don't know you just feel so good in robes you can get someone a fluffy robe you can get them like a spa robe so when they're getting ready they can wear that um you can get someone a silk robe like i have all three um two of mine i have like a silk one and like a get ready um type of robe but they're in my dorm room but i have one cozy one here um it's actually from pink and this is from like a long time ago 
but where's the thing but it's from pink and it's just like this polka dot type of thing going on um that is a very bright pink but it's perfectly fine um i feel like robes are a good idea you can't go wrong with any robes you can get a robe from like literally anywhere tj maxx marshall's ross walmart target pink the next item i want to mention are throw blankets I have a really nice one. I think it's from Target, but it's in my dorm room, unfortunately. And it's like this beige throw blanket and it's so soft and so cozy. And it's just perfect when you want to lay up in bed, but you don't want to put like your comforter on. Or if you're on the couch, you can like use that blanket. I love it. It's really soft and really cozy. The next category I want to mention are accessories. You can't go wrong with any accessories. The first kind of accessories I want to mention are jewelry. Jewelry is such an easy gift idea. If someone likes hoop earrings, you can get them some more hoops. If someone really likes necklaces, you can get them more necklaces. It's such a good idea. And some of my favorites are like this one. I have been wearing these nonstop since I've gotten them. But unfortunately, I got these from Amazon and this is a last minute gift idea. So unless you're doing like one day shipping or like the two day shipping, I mean, you're really pushing it with the Amazon Prime two day shipping. Unless like your family opens up presents at night on Christmas, like I really don't know if you can do the two day shipping that's like really pushing it. But these hoop earrings are amazing. And if I find something similar, I will definitely link it down below. But for now, I'm going to show you guys these hoop earrings from H&M. There's, like, they come in three different sizes. Let me get these two. You have, like, these little tiny... Oh, well, one just fell. But you have, like, this one really small hoop. Then you have, like, a medium size hoop. I don't know if you can even see that. If you see me looking down, I have like a mirror right here that can look into my camera screen. But I have like this medium sized hoop and then these larger hoop earrings. These large hoop earrings are like fabulous though, honestly. And they're really thin, which are really cute. And I like, I used to wear these all the time. Actually, the medium sized ones. Cause I was like, these are a little bit too big, but um, ever since I got these, they're like the the perfect thickness. Like they're not too thick and they're not too thin. Like I love these. Another gift idea is what I have on my wrist right here, and it's a watch. It's a Michael Kors watch. I have had this for years. I think I got this for Christmas one year. Ever since I got it, it's like nonstop. I wear this all the time. When I'm not wearing this, I feel like I lost my balance and I'm like, oh my God, where's my watch? Where's my watch? Where's my watch? And I and I love it. It's such like a good um, gold watch. It's like basic, but it's really nice gold color and it's like a really good watch. I just love it. And then some other ideas I have are Alex and Annie bracelets. Um... I mean, you can't go wrong with Alex and Annie bracelets. These were like a trend. I don't even know when these were a trend, but like a couple of years ago, these were a trend. Like, you know, you've seen those people with like their entire arm covered in these, but I feel like people still wear these and you just can't go wrong. Like I have this one with my first initial on it, like an S. I love it. I wear it like you can't go wrong. Next up, I have phone cases. Um, now this one that I have, I have like one of those card holder things on the back of it, but this did not come with it and it's looking a little dirty, but it's from Mercury and I love these phone cases. I feel like it protects my phone so well and it's not like chunky because I have dropped my phone multiple times and it has not cracked at all. So I'm pretty sure this is a good phone case. But yeah, it's by Mercury and it's with a K, not a C. And they have really nice colors. Like this is like a pale um, lavender color. Love it, so cute. 
get a phone case next up this item is more on the pricier side but this is like a designer item so if you want to get someone something like a little bit fancier you can always get them this and it's the louis vuitton key card holder like keychain card holder something like that but i have it in the checkered print and they have it in the logo print as well they also have it in like white too which is really cute and I use this everywhere I go. Like, I will literally just, like, see, it's on my keys. Like, I will just go out. Like, if I have to run some errands, I will just go out, take this, and I'm on my way. Like, this is so easy. I use it all the time. It is perfect. The next idea I have are water bottles. I feel like you can't go wrong with water bottles. There are so many different kinds of water bottles, and they have so many designs. And... I feel like everybody needs to drink water, so why not get someone a water bottle? The water bottle I have, again, is from Amazon, so I don't know if you can get this in time, but it's one of my favorites. It's from Cac Tacky. This is a very weird word, and as you can see, I'm using it. I got my water in it, and I love it because look at the top. I also have lipstick on it, so don't mind that, but it has like this really nice small um top right here that looks like a straw and i personally like that because sometimes when i'm drinking water and the hole is a little bit too big water literally spills out from the side water is just everywhere on me at this point but i love this um so basically when you close it you hear a click so you know it's like secured but there's also like a little thing right here that really locks it in so when you drop it, it doesn't burst open, which I love because that has happened to me before. And it was quite embarrassing, but basically when you want to open it, you just open this up and then press this button and voila. Also, it has like a little wristlet so you can carry it around. I take this to all my classes and basically everywhere I go because it's so easy. It's so big, so... I wouldn't necessarily say you can fit this in like a small purse, maybe in a big purse or a backpack, but I just hold on to it when I'm walking to class. And what I also love about it is on the back, it has like these little times that like you fill up your water, like, or like what level your water should be at at certain times. I know that sounds really weird, but like, see so yeah, at 8 a.m., it's like it should be a full bottle of water then at 10 a.m you should be at like 18 ounces of water and then like you go back at 2 p.m fill up the water bottle again then like 5 p.m your water should be at 10 ounces of water i love this sometimes i don't follow that now on to my favorite section makeup i love makeup obviously i literally started a youtube channel about makeup but I feel like you really can't go wrong with makeup. Like makeup is such a good gift idea, especially now considering beauty is progressing and like such a fast rate that everyone wants to be like a makeup artist. Everyone wants to start their own YouTube channel. Everybody just wants to get into like the beauty community really. I mean, not just the beauty community, like everybody just like wants to get makeup, you know? I have so many makeup products that I love, but I am going to mention to you guys like my favorites of 2019, basically. Not necessarily all my favorites. Also, if you hear that noise going on right now, it is my garage door opening. I think my dad is leaving. And I also have a dog in the other room that's like barking. So I'm so sorry if you hear this noise. But these are like some general ideas ideas that you guys can get for whoever you're getting a gift for so first off i want to mention elf's um lip glosses by the way elf by the way elf is such a good makeup brand it's so affordable but really good quality at the same time and it's so cheap i think i just said affordable but like that's how much i love it but I have these lip plumping glosses. They basically just make your lips look bigger. And I have one in 
what color is this? Mocha Twist, I'm pretty sure. The sticker came off. And this one is in Champagne Glam. Champagne Glam has like this gold reflex in it. And Mocha Twist is just this nice nude color. I love these. These really make my lips look bigger than they actually are. And they're just really good colors. I love putting them on and feeling like a diva almost. This e.l.f. lip gloss is from like their new collection, their jelly collection. And this is in the color, I'm pretty sure, oh, Cherry Pop. It's their Jelly Pop Juicy Gloss. And I am obsessed with this. This makes my lips look so big, so juicy, like so like voluptuous at the same time. And I love the texture. It's not sticky and it just like glides on your lips. And when you put your lips together, it like, again, it's not sticky and it just glides. Like, I don't know. I don't even have it on right now, but I just like had that feeling to do that. But I love this. I feel like this is such a good idea. I know they can't, they come in a set because I got this in a set and it had like this eye gloss and um, jelly primer. Love those as well, but this one was definitely the standout product. Next up, I have eyeshadow palettes and I have the Huda Beauty um, Obsessions palette things. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're like, I think they're called the Obsessions palettes. I have the one in mauve and topaz. I love these. These are so small. They're great for traveling. Like, they have like a mirror in here and these colors are just got to get this one open. Oh. Are just like amazing. I don't know if you can see that. But I love the colors. This one especially, this one's like more my speed. Um, this one has like a lot of the pink tones in it, but they are so pigmented. Like you dip your brush in once and then when you put it on your eye, it is like that color that you see in the pan. And the shimmers and metallics, I absolutely love these. I wear them all the time and these are just great ideas because they're small. They're kind of expensive. I think they're like $27, but in my opinion, I feel like they're a good gift idea because they're small and they don't have a lot of colors. So if, especially this is good for someone that's like a beginner makeup person, they can kind of create like any kind of look with this really. You can make a smoky eye, you can make a natural eye. I don't know, I just like think that these are a really good gift idea. Next up, I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is the old packaging, they changed it, but basically what I did is that the old packaging went on sale and I bought so many of these because it was so cheap. I feel like they're so expensive now. And these were on sale for like $11. So I bought so many, so I have a lot in this old packaging, but this has to be the OG best makeup setting spray there ever is. Like my makeup stays on for hours when I have this on and it is so good I feel like this is so easy too because people who don't use like a lot of makeup can still use setting spray and people who use a lot of makeup on their face use setting spray so this is like a universal product and I love it a lot of people love this so really this is a good gift idea as well next up is another palette but this is like a face palette and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette I love contouring. As you can see, I have used these shades a lot and these two matte shades a lot. I don't really use this highlight shade. I feel like it's too, too sheer. But I actually set my face the other day with this, like on the perimeters, not the center, because I like the center to be matte and the sides of my face to be glowy. And it looked really good, so I'm going to start using this shade a little bit more. But I love this. I feel like this is such a good um, contour palette because you have, like, really good shades. Like, you have this more light bronzer shade. Then you have a more ashy tone shade. And then you have a really, really dark um, contour shade. And then up here, you have some lighter shades. This is the light to medium palette, and I'm... 
pretty sure they have the medium to dark palette. So again, like get the palette that goes with the person. But I love these. I feel like these two bright shades right here, I just put my finger in it, really make my under eyes like pop. And sometimes I like to take it and put it right under my cheekbone to really make my cheekbone pop as well. And it looks so good. I use the shade all the time to contour. And I actually sometimes mix these two when I want a really deep contour. But I love it. The only downside is it doesn't have a mirror. But, I mean, the products are good. Next makeup item I have and the last makeup item I have is another e.l.f. product. And it's the Putty Poreless Primer. This came out like a couple of months ago, but I am obsessed with it. If you have heard of the Tatcha Poreless Primer or Putty Primer, it's the exact dupe. I'm pretty sure that one's like $42 and this was like $6 or $8. Literally something like that. I love it. I just like recently got into it because I had another primer and I wanted to finish it, but I don't even know if you can see that. Like I have gone into it pretty good. This makes my pores just disappear. Like literally, I am obsessed with it. It doesn't really have a scent, I don't think. Yeah, there's no scent to it, which is perfect. It doesn't irritate my skin and I have super sensitive skin. So this is perfect. Don't drop it. But this is perfect, I love it. This is like a good, I don't know, I just, I love the product. So the next section I have is skincare. This might be a little tricky because skincare, it all depends on the person and their skin type. Like I have super sensitive skin. So, I mean, this might work for everyone considering I have sensitive skin and it works for me, but um, I feel like that is kind of like a tricky thing. Like you have to know if the person has sensitive skin or not. You have to know if they have normal or combo. Um, skin oily skin dry skin stuff like that but i have some options here and hopefully they will give you ideas for a gift but first up my favorite skincare product the laneige i don't even know these names laneige or laneige um lip mask lip sleeping mask in berry they just recently came out with like a whole bunch of other scents but this stuff is amazing. This thing was like filled to the brim, like up to here, like right in there. And I have used it. There is so much product in here. How many ounces is this? 20 grams? Okay. Well, there is so much product in here. I feel like I will have this basically forever because there is so much in here. And I use this every single night and every single morning when I wake up and I well, like wash it off, my lips are so smooth and hydrated. Next up, this is stuff that I got recently. Not recently, like two months ago. But it's from the Sephora collection and it's their Skin Days collection. And I have their Clarifying Serum and their Clarifying Toner. So far, I love these. So far, they are perfect. I do get pimples on occasion, but I know like, this might sound weird, but the type of pimple that I have, I know what is causing it. So as far as I know, this is working and I haven't had like a pimple from like a random skin reaction yet. So this is good. That's a good sign. I love these. They make my skin feel so smooth and so clean. Like I get like a clean feeling from it. And I just love it. Like my skin gets really clear. And when I do get the occasional pimple, it's like I know what's causing it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like not from this. So I love this. It keeps my skin clear. Perfect. Next up, I have the Skin Food Watermelon Mask. And it's like their soothing mask. I love this. I try to put this mask on every time I put my makeup on because it really hydrates my skin and without like me being oily and I don't know every time I put it on before makeup my skin 
my skin. My makeup goes on flawlessly and it just looks so good. Whenever I don't use this before makeup, my skin, like I've noticed, like I get some dry patches or like on the side over here or it's just like, eh, like it's not like amazing. So I absolutely love this mask. And then I have a sheet mask from Victoria's Secret and it's their gold hydrogel mask. And I love these masks. I don't know what it is about the Victoria's Secret mask, but I love this gold one. I haven't tried the other one, but the gold one is really good and it makes you feel like fancy because it's gold. But it's really good, really hydrating. And I feel like if you got like a whole bunch of these, they'll make like a good gift idea. Next up, I have perfume. You can't go wrong with perfume, especially if you know what kind of perfume the person likes. My favorite one of all time is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. As you can see, I'm almost out, so I gotta get some more or ask for another one for Christmas. But I also recently started loving the Marc Jacobs Daisy Love. This is such a really good scent. It's like, it's not... It's not a floral scent, but it's not like a scent like this light blue. The light blue is more of like a fresh, clean scent. And I don't know, I'm just like obsessed with the scent. Oh, I don't know. There's just something about this scent that I am obsessed with. Um, and this one, it's not like a floral scent. It's like a more sexier scent. Like this is like, I'm fresh and I'm clean. And this is more of a like sexy, like dark no it's not dark what am i saying it's just like more of a mature scent if you know what i mean and next up i have nail polish nail polish is also a really good gift idea if you're getting something really small like you don't want to spend a lot of money for someone and it's like last minute just go get some nail polish my favorite nail polish like the brands are h&m and sally hansen hard as nails extreme wear but I have these two nude H&M ones. They look exactly the same on camera, but they're different, if you know what I mean. This one is Bear With Me, and it's more of like a warm toned. I don't know. I feel like the light's kind of making it look weird. But it's more of a warm to toned nude. And this one is Kalahari. And it has like more of a mauve look to it. But I love these H&M nail polishes. Like, they don't chip at all. Well, eh, they do. But they last, like, a super, super long time. I love these. Oh, I want to get more colors. But these are, like, my perfect nude ones. And then this one, I don't know what it is. But this red just makes me feel so confident and such, like, a badass. And I, I don't know. I just, like, I feel like a boss in it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, I just love this. But this is in the Reticle Rockstar shade. And I also really like this because it lasts a really long time and does not chip like as soon as you put it on. It's amazing, I love it. Good color, good quality. So the next section is tech stuff. And I don't have this stuff in front of me, but I'll put up a picture. But the first item in the tech stuff are AirPods. I don't have AirPods, but I feel like everyone has AirPods, so why not get AirPods as a gift? They are more expensive. I think they're 150 something like that, and then the AirPods Pro are more like $250, something like that. I'll put the prices up, and of course, I'm linking everything down below if I can find it, honestly. And then last but not least are gift cards. You can't go wrong with gift cards. I mean, gift cards are kind of like, oh, like, I don't know what to get you, so I'm going to get you a gift card. But I feel like gift cards are a good idea because what if someone gets you something and you don't like it? But someone gets you, like, a gift card to your favorite store and you can go and buy whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like gift cards are a really good idea. You can get a gift card to Starbucks, Target, H&M, Zara, Victoria's Secret, like literally anywhere. There is a gift card for anything, even iTunes. There's even one for Uber. I saw one at a Target. There was like a gift card. There was like a $25 Uber gift card. Like that is such a good idea in my opinion. So that is it for today's video. I feel like that was a lot of stuff or I was just talking a lot, but 
yep, that is it. Those are all my gift ideas. I hope you guys got some good ideas from this. But yep, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a happy holidays wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next video.